Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about molar mass today. Um, in our last episode we talked about um, the mole and we talked about how um, when you have one mole of any substance you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of that substance. Well a mole is also diff equal to another value. Um, we also need to have the idea that if you have one mole of any substance you also have the molar mass measured in grams of that substance. So our goal today is to figure out how to calculate molar mass for any any um, any substance. And so um, you'll need a periodic table out in handy to look at. And so let's say um, I ask you to calculate the molar mass for the compound NaCl. Now what we would do is we look on the periodic table. And so on the periodic table for Na, we have a, um, an average atomic mass of 22.98. And then if we were to look on the periodic table for chlorine, we would have an average atomic mass of 35.45. And so what we want to do is we want to determine how many sodiums and how many chlorines are in NaCl. And because we don't have any subscripts here or here, we just assume there's one. And that's the way it is. There's one sodium and one chlorine. So essentially, we just have to add these two bottom numbers together. So we're going to have 22.98 plus 35. 0.45 equals 58.45 and we're going to say grams for that. So what that means is if we had 58.45 grams of uh, sodium chloride we would have one mole of sodium chloride. Okay, let's scroll down here a little bit more here and let's talk about some some other um, compounds that we need to uh, deal with. Now not, we know that not every compound has just one um, atom bonded with one atom, we can have multiple atoms. So let's say we have um, CO2, the molecular compound carbon dioxide. Um, again, we need to determine the numbers here. So within this compound, um, we have just one carbon and we have two oxygens. And now that's important because we need to use those, those values. So um, we look up carbon on the periodic table. Carbon is 12.01. And we look up oxygen on the periodic table. And oxygen has an average atomic mass of 16.00. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add these together. So we're going to have 12.01 for the carbon. Now we said there was two oxygens. So we're going to we're going to add in one oxygen plus another oxygen. And so when we add all three of these together, we get 44.01 grams, which is equal to one mole of carbon dioxide. So if I asked you if you have a mole of carbon dioxide, how many grams of carbon dioxide do you have? You would just calculate the, the molar mass of it. Okay, let's talk about one more that's a little, slightly a little bit more complicated. And this happens when we have um, polyatomics. And um, remember when we wrote polyatomic formulas, let's say we have some some iron 3 nitrate like that. That's an iron 3 nitrate. Um, iron 3 nitrate, we have these parentheses around the polyatomic because we brought a number down. The charge of iron is a 3 plus. Um, so this, this, is a, this gets interesting. So what we're going to do here is calculate the number or talk about the number of everybody in this, in this compound. So start off with the iron right here. So we have no subscript behind the iron here. So we just, we're going to have one iron, just one iron atom. Now, uh, this three on the outside of the parentheses distributes through. Essentially what we mean is we're going to multiply this through to the oxygen, and we're going to multiply this through to the nitrogen. So what that means is, we'll go for the nitrogen first, is we're going to have three times one, so we have three nitrogens, and then we're going to have three times three, and we're going to have nine oxygens. We distribute through, we multiply through. Now we know the numbers of atoms within this ionic compound formula unit, and we can do our calculation. Okay, so um, when we look on the periodic table for iron, on the periodic table, iron, um, it has a molar mass of 55.85, and so we have 55.85. We're going to add that in to three nitrogens. Now we can do this in our calculator all together. Um, so I'm going to put this in parentheses, and so I'm going to have 3 multiplied by the molar mass of nitrogen, which is 
14.01 from the periodic table. Nitrogen, 14.01. That's what you would see when you find nitrogen, atomic number 7 on the periodic table. And then we're going to go ahead and add in. We've got 9 multiplied by um, oxygen from the periodic table. We talked, that, talked about that one previously, and that was 16, the molar mass of oxygen. Oxygen on the periodic table, molar mass is 16. Okay, so now we have this set up. I'm just going to run this through my calculator exactly how it, how it, how it, how it punched in right there. So I'm going to go 55.85 plus parentheses, 3 times 14.01, close my parentheses, plus parentheses, 9 times 16. Close my parentheses and I hit equal. So I'm going to get the, the, the answer of 241.88 grams, which is the molar mass of iron 3 nitrate. Um, and that is going to be equal to one mole of iron 3 nitrate. And that's how we calculate molar mass. We just add up the total number of atoms and, um, with, and multiplied by their each individual atom's molar mass. We'll do some more practice on this. Hope you have a good day today.